We've been staying in this villa for a week now, and though we've enjoyed our stay here, it's time to move to our next villa. We're still in Ubud, but as our time winds down, we have one more temple to visit before we head to the next island here in Indonesia. It is another beautiful day here in Ubud and we had just left our villa. We were there for a good week or so and we are now on to this other villa that we have. It's it's somewhat remote but not really if that makes yeah. sense. But it's still fairly quiet up here. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. We'll take you on a quick little tour. So right now there's four villas and the owners were actually really really nice. So nice. Yeah because no one there's a total of four villas here and no one is staying at the moment and so the I think um, the wife was yeah. giving us options I think that was the wife and uh, was giving us options in terms of where to stay she showed us the entire four villas and this one ended up uh, being the bigger one yeah. so obviously we ended up taking yeah. this one <laughs> and so this right now we're just right outside our balcony and it has a pool it's a massive pool too. yeah it's, it's a it's a massive pool it's got a view of the rice fields over there and then oh that's the key thank you that's the that's the owner we got the key yeah and then so yeah the other three villas are over on that end but it's fairly it's hidden because you got these palm trees and trees kind of like blocking your your villa and then it's two floors Oh, terimakasi, terimakasi. And then this is, I guess, the main area, the living room. The living room, just <laughs> Mina, is really happy and excited. Yeah, 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 and yeah. this is our view from the living room, as you can see. It's got the pool and the balcony. And then, what else do we have here? The washroom. The washroom is massive. Yeah, Look at this. Massive. It's got some organizers here, massive mirror, and then I really like this Me too. This I type really of sink like where it just kind of like curves. And I like that there's some storage space Yeah, too, some storage store space. Things, like even there too, you can yeah. too. And then, <laughs> I hate to do this, but I have to check it to see if the toilet works. Yeah, because we've been having some the reason why I want to check the toilets because even though the other villa, I mean it's a, it's a nice villa, but the toilet was not working. It was not working. It was horrible at all. for that price. I don't want to complain too much, but I feel like little things like that should be looked out after. So I, I'm always going to check the toilet now. We got a little organizer as well, we and then we got a fridge, fridge. Yeah. and then off to the second floor. This is the bedroom. Wow. Oh, and then there's even a little bed space things for my electronics, I guess, which would be nice. Yeah, yeah and then we have this view from up here. Wow. This. Oh my god, we could take such nice photos from up from here. From here, yeah. That. Oh! <laughs> is our villa. Yeah. We're here for three or four days or so. And, uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, we're by the main road. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna be here for four days. But today is editing day for us just because we've been creating content non-stop on a daily yeah. even today even today was editing day i told jasmina i'm like wait i have an idea before yeah. we left the villa and we we took photos and videos for like a good 45 minutes and yeah. but that's amazing that she was just like always such a trooper and she always wants to like create content with me yeah yeah you are 
Well, she's also a content creator, so like, it, yeah, she <laughs> understands. But yeah, today's going to be editing day. It's going to be fairly uneventful because we want to post these, you know, Instagram posts and YouTube videos and be able to share it with you, even though we're out on the road and we work hard on these videos, especially this one. So make sure mm -hmm. you subscribe to our channels. The link is going to be in the description box down below. But for now, I got to go back to the other villa because I have one more bag that I got to pick up, which is my backpack and then come back here. And I think in the meantime, Jasmina's probably gonna do her own little villa tour for Yay. her channel. But um, yeah, it's from here to our other villa. It's about, it's really close, like 10 minutes. Yeah. Very, like very minutes, close. Yeah. Um, the good thing about this villa is that, I mean, I don't wanna complain too much, but like there's also less walking, whereas the other one is quite the trek. But it, I mean, some that's- stairs, quite yeah, some quite stairs. The stairs <laughs> the to one. get to that villa. But it's, it's, I mean, it's what you have to do to be like really tucked in and far yeah. away from the main road. So overall, I, I, I had a, I had a, I don't know, we had a great stay yeah. in that villa. We created some amazing content. But yeah, today's going to be an editing day, fairly uneventful. We're just going to go to a cafe and just edit the content that we've been making the past week and a bit or so. It was fairly uneventful as we just edited and worked for the rest of the day. So why don't we just fast forward to the next day? here in Bali and today we're going to Ulunda New Temple. Bara ba bara Baratan. Yeah, yeah. Baratan. Ulunda New Baratan Temple. Yeah. I've been there before and it's about an hour and 15 minutes away from Ubud. But on the way there, we just had to make a stop because yeah. we were going over this bridge and the view is stunning. So, we parked our bike there, and then we're just gonna go walk over the bridge and check it out. But it looks amazing. Look at this view. Holy. Gorgeous. got to Ulunda New Beratan Temple and there's a lot of people here. The last time I was here, it was it was empty, yeah? but it was because it was towards the end of the day. Mm. But today, because one, I think it's a, it's a Sunday, so a lot yeah. of people are off, like locals, and obviously tourists, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but to get in, we paid tickets for 75,000 yeah, 75, Indonesian rupiah each. And right now, I think there's a ceremony happening, so we're gonna head straight one. down by the water. The existence of the Ulundanu Baratan temple has records that dates all the way back to 1556. Even a stone slate in the temple is as old as 500 BC. The temple is featured on the 50,000 Indonesian rupia bill and Lake Baratan that surrounds the temple grounds is the second largest lake in Bali that is also the source of irrigation for rice fields and plantations across the entire Bedugul village. The mountain in which sits on the lake is referred to as the Holy Mountain. It is really, really beautiful here. There's a lot of there are ceremonies happening here and overall it's, uh, it is such one of the most beautiful temples definitely here in Bali for sure. Definitely a lot happening here compared to the last time I was here, which is really, really nice. It's very, uh, it's very alive, this place. And uh, it's busy for sure, but it's still, you know, it's, it's a beautiful temple. And it reminds me of, I mean, I wouldn't compare it to Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is definitely very, very different, but Angkor Wat also gives that same vibe, whereas, 
even if it's really, really busy, there's thousands and thousands of people. I mean, there's definitely not thousands of people here, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Feels Angkor, like it. Yeah, it does feel like it. But Angkor Wat is really, really busy, but it still gives off that same effect that it's, it's just such a majestic temple. And uh, that's what Olunda Nu is, like at least the vibes that I'm getting here. Really, really beautiful. But yeah, we've roamed around for a good 30 minutes or so. Yeah, I think we're gonna walk around some more and then uh, leave after this. Yeah. Overall, I very, very beautiful temple, yeah. right? Definitely worth the money. If you are staying in downtown Ubud or Ubud in general, just in, ba uh, just in Bali in general, I highly recommend coming here. It's an hour away from Ubud, but it's definitely worth the trip. It really is. I think it's a very beautiful temple to come to. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> What can I say? It is definitely a beautiful temple and I don't know if it's luck again because when we went to Basaki there were a bunch of ceremonies happening and then obviously this time around in Olunda Nu you would have seen that there were also a lot of people, a lot of ceremonies happening in the temple which was really really cool to see. I mean overall there were just a bunch of people, you know locals doing prayers and tourists like us. And we also came, we got there nearly midday, it was around 11 a.m. Yeah. I don't know what time they opened, but I am pretty sure first thing in the morning it would have been, would, there would have been less people, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. But a couple of things, first things first, you need to get a ticket, which is about 75,000 Indonesian rupiah. That's about six or seven Canadian dollars or four US dollars or four euros. That's just the entrance fee that kind of takes you through the the entire complex and you if you're gonna drive there with a scooter you also need to pay for a you, you need to pay for parking. your scooter parking yeah which is roughly around three thousand indonesian rupiah i don't know how much that is i think that's like 30 cents <laughs> canadian so that must be like 10 cents uh euros or uh, us dollars as well I'm not quite sure, but it's it's not much. No, it's not much. much. <laughs> no. Yeah, but overall, it's definitely worth. And you know, if you're going to be here in Ubud, it's about an hour and fifteen minutes drive. If there is traffic, though, it's obviously going to be much longer. And if you're going to be in a car, it's definitely going to be much, much, much longer yes. because being in a scooter, you're just more mobile. You're able to weave through lanes. Whereas if you're in a car, you're very limited to that. And, you know, it's going to take a long time. And going there, definitely there was a lot of traffic. And then heading out of there, definitely a lot of traffic. So I think yeah. it would be maybe two hours at least if you're in a car. Um, but on a scooter, it's definitely much faster. Go early. <laughs> go really, really early to yeah. avoid the crowd. Yeah, definitely early in the morning is the way to go. And also for, we saw a lot of tourists wearing shorts and even yeah. girls wearing kind of like cover up bikinis. Yeah, which I noticed is... that a lot. Actually, I actually uh, um, mentioned that <laughs> to him once we entered the the temple. Yeah. I noticed that. I mean, I, I had my sarong and I had his polo shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Just mean you know, it was fairly covered up. And I mean, I was wearing a shirt and I do admit, like I did bring pants, but I was wearing shorts, <laughs> which is, you know, fairly biased to say this. But I mean, as, as, a, as a girl, you wouldn't want to be wearing like bikini cover ups. I think when you go, especially to temples to like temple, this, even yeah. though they don't enforce sarongs or covering up your legs or you know wearing sleeveless shirts i think it's just at least wear something proper shirts or something yeah. but that's i mean i'm not here to tell you know tell people how to dress and all that stuff but i think it just kind of goes a long way and shows a little bit of respect for the culture and especially if there, there's rituals and prayers happening yeah. in, in the temple itself but yeah so wear proper clothing i mean it, it is hot so as you can see we, i actually got a burn 
um, right here. And then J Jasmina and I also got burns on the legs, but that's because from the scooter. But even then when we got there, it was fairly, it was hot. So make sure you bring proper headgear, whether it's a, a hat or, or put proper sunscreen. I mean, mm -hmm. I did put sunscreen, but I still got it burned. It wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough and our faces got burned, but I think that's from the scooter ride. Um, more or less. Oh, I mean, if you want to take photos, there's definitely a lot of good photo ops. So when you enter the complex, there's that gate and a lot of people queue there to take a photo. I think what's so underrated is the statue beside it on the left side. Yeah. There's no one there and it's such a such a great picture opportunity where not that many people have it. I don't know. I like to be unique in my photos and Yes, I, I've taken photos of like common things, common places, but I, I also want to be as unique as possible. And I think taking photos and and in, in that area, I think and by that statue is very very underrated. And then yeah, I mean also if you want to take a photo in that gate right off the entrance, like you're more than welcome to. But there's just a queue. Like when we got there, there was a queue, and then when we left. Yeah, there was a massive queue. And then the next photo opportunity is the, the door. And now that one day they, they do queue, but it's not as long as the entrance. Not as, no, not as... Yeah, and it's it's also, I think it's um, it's a very popular photo spot. And then obviously the last one is like the main temple. And that one is very, very, very beautiful. Yeah. It's not like a 360, but you can kind of go around it. The first one, when you enter, you're going to go through grass on, on the side. And then if you keep walking down, there's going to be a bunch of flowers, yeah. you know, red flowers and yellow flowers. I suggest taking photos there to include the flowers in your shot, just because it gives this, it gives another layer to your photo. It's just more... It gives more dimension, dimension, <laughs> vibrancy. It just gives more life to the photo. I mean, you're more than welcome to take a photo once you enter and once you see it. But I suggest going over Especially to where the, by the roses red flowers. are. I think they're the prettiest. Definitely the prettiest. And then you can keep walking down. I mean, there's another area where people people pray. It's like a gate. You could take a photo there, but I don't think you're allowed to enter. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then past that, over that bridge, you're going to see, I don't know, we didn't go through it because it was fairly staged, but there was a lot of like those heart shaped oh, yeah. straw things and yeah. like we didn't go further into it because we know it's just really? you know nah. it's a temple like i mean i understand people want to create memories and photos and all that stuff but it's just it's just not my thing it's not our thing no it's really not yeah those are definitely the photo opportunities and you could go on a boat as yeah, well if you're thinking of doing say. that we don't know how much it is yeah. but you could definitely do that which probably will give you a unique perspective of the temple being that you're going to be on the side uh, on the water side but the thing with that is that i think if you were to take a you know if you were to go during busy hours like we did mm. like you would have a lot of like people Crowds in your in photos yeah. yeah i mean you could remove it if you really wanted to but for videos yeah but i'm just being picky that's just who i am as a creator i don't like people in my shots <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> but um yeah, that is it. Right now, the plan is we're just probably going to pack up because tomorrow we're actually heading to Lombok. Lombok is one of my favorite islands here in Indonesia. It's just on the east side of Bali. And when I went there the first time, it was fairly raw still. I mean, people were visiting Lombok and all that stuff. And, you know, with social media, Instagram and TikTok happening and, you've, you know, obviously YouTube, um, a lot of creators have gone to that island and it's definitely created this buzz and a lot of people want to visit uh, Lombok and I'm excited to see what kind of changes Lombok had made but it's still fairly less busy still more authentic than Bali and yeah like I said Lombok is definitely my favorite island here in Indonesia and we're going there tomorrow I think the ride so we have a shuttle that's going to take us to the pier and then the speed ferry is going to take us to Lombok and the duration of travel time is around four and a half hours or so more or less but uh yeah tomorrow we're going to lombok so if the plan is we're just gonna pack have dinner just call it a night because we have an early one tomorrow and we also have to return the scooter tomorrow as well mm, yeah. and so that is the plan we hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet and we'll catch you in lombok
Peace. Bye.